Okay, Paul, here we have Martini Moment. Um, she's coming along nicely, this prep. Uh, Up to three quarter pace, uh, and you're working her in company, which seems to be really helping her be more relaxed and a more mature filly. Yeah. Um, can you just explain a bit of that to the uh, owners? Um, yeah, she, look, she just gets, seems to get a bit of comfort about having another horse work with her, but uh, she's uh, got plenty of bounce about her, as you can see. She's um, really come a long way this time. Uh, she, just mentally, she's a, a lot better, a lot, lot, uh, just copes a lot better. Um, she's strength, obviously strengthened up and grown quite a lot since she was in last time. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got a few midges around us, guys, that are starting to bother them a bit. We might just... Uh, might just uh, Take her back in somewhere and a bit closer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a we've got a, f a lot of midges around us at the moment for, after the rain, guys. That um, she's uh, taken exception to, but um, look, she's yeah, she's up she's up doing a bit of three quarter pace and uh, a bit like uh, December Diamond. She came up the running a little bit on Tuesday morning, a bit quicker than the three quarter pace, which is the three quarter pace being 14 and 15 to the furlong, which. Uh, it's basically just an easy gallop. The, uh, as you can see, she's uh, she gets fired up quick enough and easy enough. The girl, but um, so she's she's uh, she is getting better as she gets older. There's plenty of activity here for her to be getting worked up about too. But uh, anyway, the um, she is a short course also. It's uh, probably not such a bad thing. Um, but she's. Uh, just generally a nice filly, everyone. She's, um, she's, uh, the time's been beneficial to her. Uh, I personally was uh, thinking that we'd have had her to the races before now, but just nothing's quite gelled with her. Um, but I'm picking they will this time in. She uh, just seems to be coping that bit better and just, just a bit easier to manage and, and do everything with. And as I say, she's uh, really appreciated having company when she works. She seems to get a bit of comfort out of having the other horse around her. So, uh, so there's that as well. But, um, She's, uh, she's, she, she's not silly, she just, just uh, fires up a little quicker than most. That she, so you can see she's starting to get her ears back on now and listen to what's being asked of her. But she's, um, she's pretty intelligent, smart filly that uh, I'd be a little surprised if she doesn't do a good job for us after that first jump out she had. That was pretty exciting. It, uh, it, uh, you don't see them do that very often off the back of their first jump out where they, where they get home like she did without being asked. So. And she'll be going to the jump outs on the grass in yeah. around three or four weeks? Yeah, it's probably the same. Here in December, Diamond are pretty much in the same mould. Um, uh, they're not, they, they've, they've both done quite a bit of work on and off, so they, 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 there's a fair bit of residual fitness here, so they're not going to be hard to get ready. That's, that's a bit better. You can see what, you, see what you've got there now, guys. Okay, so not long to go until um, we're back at the jump outs and trials and then uh, hopefully the races. Yeah, I'll be a little surprised when I get there this time, guys. She's uh, barring bad luck. She's, uh, as I say, she's furnished quite nicely and she's, she's a lot better mentally as well. So uh, all things being equal, we should get a good result with her. Okay, great. Thanks.